Hello adventurers, I'm Gray, and welcome to an update video. I haven't done one of these in quite a long time, and I'm kind of just here chilling on a new Minecraft world. I'll just be kind of doing some stuff on here as I talk, as a little bit of a background. Minecraft always serves to be a really great background, it's always very chill, even though I'm on hardcore. But, I have a lot to talk about, and this is going to be completely unscripted. Not because I want it to be unscripted, but just because I don't have enough time to write a script. And that kind of fits in with the whole theme of this video, and that is time and the lack thereof in my life at the moment. So I have been struggling recently to get videos out consistently, as you might have noticed. Last week I had maybe like two or three, I can't quite remember, and then this week, like this previous week, um, I think I had like one video out on Monday and that was it. And the whole reason for that is that I just didn't have the videos recorded to edit, to upload, all that sort of thing. And it's been a bit of a shame because I like doing YouTube and I want to do it more, but I haven't had the time to do it. But you know, there are many reasons for that. For those who haven't heard before, even though I've talked about it many different times, I'm actually a grad student. In fact, I'm in a doctorate program, so a doctorate student, you could say. I'm training to be a doctor of pharmacy or a PharmD degree. And I'm currently in my third year of pharmacy school. That's right, I'm a P3 student. It might come as a shock to some. I don't know if everyone knew I was in pharmacy school, but... Yeah, that has kept me super busy over the past two years. Every year is a little bit different in pharmacy school, and I could talk a little bit more about that. But every year has its own difficulties and things that take up your time and things that you need to focus on. And I've gotten more and more busy as pharmacy school has progressed. And I managed to do YouTube quite well in my first year, I feel. Even though I did a lot less editing in videos, I was still able to get one out pretty much every single weekday. In fact, I think I did every single weekday throughout the year, other than maybe like one or two misses. That was like my goal for that year, and I did that. Second year, had a little bit more difficulty. There were some weeks where I missed a few videos. Overall, I still did a good amount in the second year. But this year has hit super hard, super, super hard, and it's just taken up so much of my time. So to give some backstory, I came into pharmacy school with basically no experience in healthcare at all. My parents are not healthcare related. My dad was an engineer who's retired now. My mom's a waitress. Both of them are first generation immigrants. So I was coming in with no background in medicine at all, um, no work experience at all. So I, have, I hadn't even worked like a part-time job before coming to pharmacy school. So I was very fresh, very young. I did a program where I went in to pharmacy school two years after um, doing my undergrad. So I did my undergrad for two years and then went to pharmacy school and got a bachelor's in pharmacy studies during my first year of pharmacy school. So I basically cut two years off my education there, which has saved me a lot of time and money, but also it meant that I was missing two more years of growth and development. But I was dedicated to growing as much as possible. Like I, I learned from a lot of teachers and some other upperclassmen over there, like they were very inspiring to me and very interesting people who did a lot of different things. And so I was endeavoring to get to their level at the very least. I wanted to do as much as possible, experience everything I could. I'm the type who really likes trying different things and experiencing new things. So I did as much as I could. I volunteered in tons of events, joined many, many organizations, and I basically kept myself really busy. I ran for different leadership positions. I ran for class president in my first year, came in second place, which made me feel a bit bad for a while, but um, I told myself I'd do my best this coming year and strive to succeed um, in the next year. And so I really pushed myself. Um, and I'm not really talking to toot my own horn or anything. Like, I just want to give some backstory on why I'm, like, really busy. So, second year, um, I did win the presidency um, position. Um, I, I will have to give a partial thanks to COVID and the whole online environment, which I know it's not really a good thing to say thanks to COVID, but it did benefit me in, in the way that since everything went virtual, I'm very good with computers and being on technology all the time. And so I was able to help our class stay on track a lot. In fact, some students in my class thanked me. They said without me, they would not have made it through like the whole second year. Like they would have flunked out. Like I kept people on track of assignments, um, communicated with professors to get things to help us, all sorts of stuff. So I, I did a lot as class president, but not only class president, I also had positions in like five different organizations at my school 
trying to remember the exact positions from second year. I was a director of communications and then later on the president of an organization, which is like my big position I had. Very proud of that one. It was an IPHO, which is industry pharmacist organization, which is actually what I'm looking into going into, which is industry pharmacy. I was like a secretary of one group. I was a historian of another group. Um, I did a, many different things. And I was also a student ambassador, which meant that I would help on, on interview days for new and prospective students and any other events going on at the school. I was part of the student well-being committee, which is a whole new committee implementing a whole new big like house-based program at our school where the students are divided into four different houses and we have house competitions and all sorts of stuff to promote well-being. So I was very busy in my second year. Along with that, the second year is widely considered to be the hardest. Second or third are, is, are considered to be the hardest years. I think the second one's the hardest because it has by far the most exams um, and pretty difficult exams as well. But yeah, that was a really difficult year. And I started my MBA program. So I'm, I'm doing a PharmD and MBA at the same time. So that started on my second year and it's continuing into this third year. And then... I thought that since I'm doing so much my second year, third year, the academics, I don't think are as hard because there's only one exam per week at max, whereas second year it's two. So I thought I'd be a bit more relaxed this year and have more time to do YouTube. Maybe I'd probably still only do about the same amount as the second year, but still be consistent about it. But circumstances have not really led to that in a good way, I would say, but not as good for my YouTube career, if it can be considered a career. So this year, I have even more positions than last year. I wasn't planning to run for anything else, but a lot of times the positions just kind of fall onto me at this point. Like there are people now at my school who will legitimately wait on filling a position because they wanted to ask me to do it first. And they'll like wait months before filling it, like waiting for my response and stuff. And how am I supposed to say no to that at that point? Even with all my positions, I'm like, well, I got to help now in that position. And along with that, there. I've noticed that at my school, my school is fairly small anyway for pharmacy school. Well, I say mid-size. Our school's pretty much mid-size. Um, it's not a huge school, so there's not tons of people. Like, there's not hundreds per class or anything. In fact, it's usually about 60 to 80 per class, depending on the year. It declined quite a bit during COVID, not going to lie. Like every school. But um, there's been a decline in the amount of activity for like new students, like getting invested in organizations and taking on leadership roles. I think a lot of people are more nervous nowadays to take on these roles. They're less confident, um, or maybe they just don't want to get as involved, more introverted. It just There's been a general push in general. <laughs> in gen <laughs> I can talk. I can talk good. Um, I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or just an American thing or just in my region or whatever, but I've noticed a lot more people in schools are a lot less likely to get involved in things and a lot more likely to kind of stay on their own, stick to their own group, not do too much. There's, of course, exceptions. And I was honestly one of those people until I really decided to do a change of heart in pharmacy school. Like I was active in nothing in, in undergrad and basically nothing in high school. So people are impressed when I tell them how much I've changed and how much I'm doing right now compared to how I was before. And people who knew me in high school are surprised at how much I do now. But there's been a general trend towards less activity. And so I often feel like I need to take these positions that no one is running for because otherwise a lot of organizations won't have anyone to fill those positions and then a lot of them are very important and they need people to do them successfully in order to have a good year and have a good enough number of events and get a decent annual report going and all sorts of stuff and so that combined with the fact that for some positions I honestly feel like <laughs> I would do it better than like 90% of other people who apply for it as well um, so I want, I want these organizations to succeed and I want everything at our school to go well and all that sort of stuff. Plus I want to build on my own experiences and try new things because practically all my roles I get each year are different from the previous year. So I just like experiencing new things and having new things that I can talk about in interviews and job applications and things like that as well. But that has led me to having more positions than before. I have one running social media pages for an organization. I'm the secretary once again for one. So I take minutes and all sorts of stuff and send emails to, to the school with any new events that are occurring. Um, and I was the historian position I was in last year. Also, like that's usually a pretty laid back position. But even that, like I have a problem. I just put everything into all my positions I have. So part of the historian position was doing a scrapbook competition at the end of the year during the summer for the national conference. It's for SNAFA, which is Student National Pharmaceutical Association. 
And I put my all into that scrapbook in a video format. Since I have experience of YouTube, I did it in a video format. And I won first place in the country. First place in the country for the organization. And I was surprised. I was excited, of course. But if that goes to show like how much effort I put into all my positions, like... And I just have so many right now, so many positions. I think I have like eight different positions if you include like not just clubs, but also committees at our school and other things like being a, once again, student ambassador and all sorts of stuff. Many roles. And that's been keeping me really busy. Along with that, third year is no slouch in terms of ap academics either. Like just because it has less exams than second year doesn't make it easier. Right now I'm taking a class called Neurology or Psychiatric and Neurologic Pharmacy is the full name of it. And that is like a really difficult, very heavy class with lots of medications to learn about, lots of conditions to cover. It's very complex with a lot of the treatments. And I'm doing that and regular pharmacy stuff along with, as I mentioned before, my MBA program, which is a lot of writing and a lot of work. I don't think it's too difficult per se, but it's a lot of work. And then... Along with that, I'm doing a new program, which is a certificate program in health data analytics at our school, which took me quite a bit of effort to get started because tr apparently starting three programs at the same time at school is not common. I don't know why. Um, and so the paperwork had some real issues to get done. That's a side note. But yeah, I'm doing that as well, which is a lot of like data analysis and that sort of thing. And that's also a lot of work. And it's also very new and very different from pharmacy school. And I'm doing all this stuff because I'm wanting to go into um, pharmacy informatics. That's sort of the specialization I want to do because I'm a big fan of technology. And if I can use that with pharmacy, that would be super cool. Um, but there's not many areas to gain experience in that around where I live. So I'm just taking every chance I can get to get anything that's related to it. And so I'm doing that health data analytics certificate, which I'm, I'm, I'm striving to also keep my 4.0 in all my classes because I currently have one of those. Um, so that's three different degree programs. I'm trying to get like A's in and everything while trying to be really successful in my different organizations and run things. I'm also the vice president of two organizations this year, by the way. Fortunately, I'm not the president of anything, which I am actually really thankful for because I would not be able to handle being a president of anything other than being class president right now. And then uh, along with that, I'm also in an internship during school which is with the Department of Health in the state I live in. And it's a government internship. I'm, I'm doing research at this, like the internship's basically a research internship. So I am currently researching things like drug overdoses, specifically opioid overdoses in my region and sort of seeing how COVID influenced that and other drug overdoses as well and that sort of thing. And that's also a good amount of work that I'm doing at the same time as everything else. And along with that, I still want to like enjoy some anime and some video games on my own when I get the chance, which to be honest, I have not really been playing video games on my own. It's been real sad. Um, I just haven't had the time to. So if I can't play video games for fun on my own, the odds of me be having time to play video games for YouTube on my own are very slim. So that adds on to that. So yeah, that's basically what's been keeping me super busy. I am like the busiest person at my school and I've had many people or in my class for sure. And I've had many people ask me, like, how do you do it? Like, how do you do all that stuff you do and still get good grades? And I, I don't know how to answer. I have no idea. I just built my way up to this point, told myself I could do it. I'm really pushing my limits. I think a part of it is I want to see where my limits are. And I'll never know where my limits are unless I push them as far as I can. So I think this year is basically my limit and I won't go beyond this. Um, if I can make it through this year and still be successful i'll be very proud of myself and that is my goal um but yeah i've been really pushing my limits these past few years and one thing something has to fall something has to go and for me that's kind of been youtube recently which i've always said i don't want to stop doing youtube even if i get super busy but there's a limit to how busy you can get and still do everything hopefully that's understandable the thing is, I still want to do YouTube. I still want to keep going, and I'm not going to quit completely. It's just that this year is making it really difficult to do it as consistently as I used to. Also, another side note that's... I guess it's not really a side note. It's another very relevant thing for why I haven't been doing as much YouTube. And it's that my roommates... So, 
Um, specifically, I guess I should say one of my roommates, Zach. So my two roommates are Zach and Andrew. Um, you might know them a little bit because I used to record a lot of videos together as a group. Um, I haven't been doing much because, to be honest, right now it's way easier for me to record solo stuff. Um, because I can just do it on my own time without us all having to be available. Um, but in the past, I used to record a lot of stuff together. But they're my close friends since I was young. Um, but they used to go back home every single weekend. So we roomed together in an apartment near school. And Andrew is still doing an undergrad program, by the way. Zach just started his master's this semester. Um, so normally they would go home every weekend to spend the weekend with their parents. And that is when I'd record the next week's videos. Because I feel very awkward recording stuff with other people around. I don't really like doing it. And so it was really convenient to be able to do that on the weekends. However, now that Zach started his master's, like Andrew still goes back every weekend, which is fine. Zach stays here every weekend because he quit his Walmart job. And part of the reason why he went back is because he worked at Walmart every Friday and Saturday at home. But he quit that job to do full-time master's degree. And he doesn't really need the job right now anyway because he's doing a job with the school as part of the master's that pays for his tuition. So that's like his full-time job now along with school. I should probably make a pick. Um, but what that means is that I basically don't have any chance to be on my own unless Zach goes to like the store or something like that, which um, coincidentally he's at right now, which is why I'm recording this update video. I don't know. I'm probably a terrible YouTuber because most of them are like very self-confident, like extroverted type of people. I'm more of an introverted person. I don't like having other people hear me when I'm recording. Um, if I had the choice, I would always record in not an apartment, but my own like separate house where even if I screamed at the mic, no neighbors would get upset or anything. I could do whatever I wanted without anyone worrying, without bothering people, that sort of thing. And I've never really had that opportunity, which is why I'm not as excitable as I would be if I was by myself. I've always had like family or friends or neighbors who I would annoy if I was really noisy playing video, playing games and recording YouTube videos. Um, but because of that, I haven't really had the chance to record or, or the motivation to record by my, when I'm here, like when I'm here by myself. So when I, ha when I have the chance, I would like to do a lot more YouTube and record some videos, get some, I definitely want to finish Dicey Dungeons and Subnautica Below Zero at the very least. And when Haito comes out, which um, I'm actually thankful it'll be next year at the earliest because I could not record Haito in my, in this year, this third year of pharmacy school. There's no way I would be able to do it as much as I wanted to. But when that comes out, I want to record a lot of it. But just my frequency of uploads will probably be a lot lower this year compared to previous years. And I hope that's understandable for the, for the reasons that I have described. I still enjoy playing video games and stuff, for sure. I would like to play it a lot more. I just, I don't know, school has taken up so much of my life this year. And it's going to continue throughout this year. This is going to be my most stressful year of schooling, for sure. For sure. Last year to be fair, was very stressful. Um, this year was up there. I don't know. It might be might be tied. It might be as stressful, but in a different way. Because I don't think this year is as tough academically. It's just tough in terms of everything else. So, yeah. Um, I'll do my best to manage it. Wish me luck in my pharmacy school endeavors. I'm nervous about becoming a doctor. I'm nervous about starting my rotations next year. Because for fear pharmacy school, you go on rotations every month, which is where you get on-site experience at many different places. And I'm nervous about that. I don't know what to expect. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do my best at every step of the way. And I'll learn the, to the best of my ability. I have lots of people supporting me, which I'm very thankful for. A lot of professors are really supportive of me. A lot of classmates and teachers really appreciate me. And I'm very thankful for all of that. And like my pharmacy school career is where I'm going to be successful at, not YouTube. Like I'm just going to be blatantly honest about that. YouTube is for fun. And... I suspect that unless something really random happens, um, YouTube will always be just for fun for me. Like, I don't suspect to get, like, any money off of YouTube ever, really. It would be nice if I could one day, because that is sort of, like, my dream thing. I would really like to be big on YouTube and just have fun playing with other YouTubers and stuff like that. But pharmacy is where I'm doing well at, and I also really enjoy it, so I don't know. I'm 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 excited. I'm not the type who gets that mu that stressed though, which is why I'm able to do so much. Like I'm not the type who takes things too hard and if I make mistakes, I learn from them and push onwards. That but even so, this year's going to be tough, really tough. So hope you all understand. I think I'm going to end off this episode here. Got a little basic house. I'm not going to make this a series. I'm just kind of chilling out in Minecraft. But yeah, that's all for now. Hopefully you all enjoyed.
If you did and want to continue supporting me, I would really appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. They, they really do help. They make me excited to keep doing YouTube stuff. That's all for now, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.